So today we're going to do some lumbar facet joint injections. Uh, these are very simple injections which are done um, to the lumbar spine where we administer some local anaesthetic mixed with uh, steroid preparation uh, in and around the facet joint and that's to relieve the inflammation and pain uh, with people who have back pain associated with facet joint dysfunction. Um, what we're going to do first of all is just locate the facet joints. We have over here an x-ray uh, which shows the lumbosacral spine that shows the L3, L4 and L5 lumbar vertebrae going into the sacrum. Um, picture there please. Okay, and there. So the tip of the pointer, yep, is basically over where that facet joint is. And that particular one is the uh, L45 facet joint. So we're going to be doing that one. Picture, please. This one on the other side. Yep. This is the L5S1 right at the bottom. Yep. That one. Okie okay, And that one. There. Fantastic. Now, the first thing we do is we just put a little bit of local anaesthetic in the skin. If we can go up with the x-ray, please. Now, for this particular procedure, often the patients are awake and the procedure is just done uh, under local anaesthesia. Um, we also um, sedate patients. Um, the patient we have today is actually particularly fearful, so um, they're, going, they're having some quite heavy sedation for the procedure. Uh, some more lidocaine in there, please. So first things first, we just infiltrate the skin with a little bit of local anaesthetic. And then we're taking some slightly longer needles and these are going to go down to the facet joints. And we just make sure we're in the right place. Okay, yes please. Okie dokie. Okay. So then once we're down a reasonable way, we're just going to adjust those so we get them as accurate as possible. There's lots and lots of way, different ways of injecting facet joints. Some people say you should go, yes please, inside the joint, uh, which is an intra-articular injection. Um, other people say periarticular injection or outside the joint is absolutely fine. We often use a mixture of uh, both of these. Um, there's very little evidence to say that there's one method is better than another. And probably the most important thing with any of these injections is that uh, the injections are essentially there to break the cycle of the pain, to provide a patient with a pain-free window. And once that's been achieved, The next most important thing is the physiotherapy based rehabilitation and all the patients uh, will see one of our specialist pain physiotherapists uh, once they've had their procedure completed. We usually leave it about seven to ten days before they have physiotherapy. So this is a mixture of long acting local anaesthetic and a steroid preparation. This particular one is called Depamedrone, which is a sort of crystal form of uh, steroid that we use. The advantage of this is where it's injected, it's essentially going to stay in the tissues uh, and it will be absorbed very slowly and locally uh, to the places where it's needed most. So what I'm doing here is I'm just infiltrating the mixture around the facet joint. I'm just flicking it because it is a particulate substance and that's to make sure that it stays in solution when we're injecting. For average facet joints about three to five mils of um, solution is generally used. Next thing 
as we come out, we don't want to leave a, a block of local an uh, of um, steroid in the tissues. So we just flush it with a little bit of local anaesthetic as we come out. That also puts some local anaesthetic in the overlying tissues and gives a little bit more pain relief um, after the procedure. Excellent.